Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video I return to a location that last time I was here I promised myself I'd never set foot in again. Last time there was a real problem with crowds and also there was a lot of litter and a lot of uh, graffiti and vandalism and I just left thinking the location's kind of ruined for photographers and I'll never be back. But here we are a couple of years on, I've decided to give it one last chance. So. Join me now, see if I've changed my mind in any way, and see if by the end of this, I'm still vowing never to return. So it's uh, just after sunrise, and we've got a reasonably clear sky day, and there was little pockets of mist on the fields, as I drove up this morning but unfortunately there's nothing here in the Glen at least nothing yet good news is my first reason for not coming back was the number of people that visit here but it's a Wednesday morning and it's just after five o'clock so it's quiet I think I've got the whole Glen to myself so, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. All right, I'm not going to record the descent because uh, last time I was here it was a bit iffy. Um, I believe that they've put some hand, uh, some ropes to use along the side for a bit of stability. But last time I was here it was a pretty much down in all fours job. So I'm going to put the camera away just now and uh, I'll come back to you in a minute, hopefully. Part way down and I can already see there's a lot of fallen trees down in the, the glen. So I don't know if that'll help or hinder the shots. Well, I do indeed have it to myself for now, but if the light up there is anything to go by, I think this might get quite busy quite soon. It looks like we're going to have a lovely day. Right, well there's my first problem. This uh, fallen tree stump is blocking the shot that I was wanting to get. I'd been looking to try and get the, the pulpit itself, this little cascade and that cascade in the background in in one shot with those uh, beautiful green mosses and the lovely light but that's not looking possible because of that that fallen tree Right, let me talk you through this. This is my first shot of the day. I've kind of got this, hopefully I've got this waterfall in the background. I mean, haven't included that tree because there's nothing I can do about it. And then we've got this little cascade here and all the while we've got the actual uh, devil's pulpit there in the shot as well. It's, uh, it's quite a contrast to shot. What I've done is um, I've exposed for the highlight, which is basically this back area and I'm hoping that I can pull some detail out in, from the shadows but I'm also going to take a couple of different shots first of all focused here on this wall 
and then focused on the pulpit and then focused in the background. I'll maybe take a couple of different exposures as well. I'm not going to try and get over there because I don't think that shot that I was originally after is, is possible. I'm also rather precariously balanced here as you can see that water looks pretty deep. So yeah, I'm just shooting off a couple of shots. At the moment I'm in horizontal format but I think I'll probably flip it over and see if we can get one in uh, more vertical. Okay, I've set up another shot here. What I've done is I've put on my 70 to 300 millimeter lens and I've zoomed in on just this little section, just that little waterfall that I was interested in. And I'm using the sides of the, the gorge to, to frame that waterfall. I've got the beautiful uh, green mosses beyond and the, the water. I'm trying to find a shutter speed where I still retain some detail in the water. My problem is, because of where I'm perched, I've actually got one of the, the legs of my tripod is in the water. And that means, because of the flow of water, it's introducing a little bit of camera shake. So I'm having, <laughs> I'm having to juggle exposure with uh, camera shake. And it's proving to be quite tricky. But it looks nice in the back of the camera and so I'm hoping that it's going to work. I might have to remove one or two of those logs in post-processing, but we'll worry about that later. So, I've come back a bit. I've come back off those ledges and uh, I'm looking to see if there's something I can do with this fallen tree. The tree up next to the pulpit I think is fairly recent, but this big tree here has been here for as long as I can remember. It's still quite an interesting shot that isn't it with the, the waterfall in the background? I wonder if there's a shot there. We've got a ledge here. If I can get over onto the ledge, that removes the problem with the the tripod moving, yeah, and you can still see it. In fact, if you get the angle just right, you can lose one of the trees as well. Yeah, quite like that. In fact, the telephoto lens is still on, so I think I might just zoom right in on that and see if there's a shot. Here's that the uh, forecast missed and uh, sunny spells haven't materialised. It's actually starting to cloud over up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross back over the, the water and shoot down this side of the gorge because there's some lovely rocks there. Unfortunately it gets very deep and I don't think it's possible to walk through there but I will grab a couple of shots. I've just been finishing off with that. That really could have used just a little shaft of light there, but that's uh, not to be. Been here about an hour and a half now and still not seen anybody, this is brilliant. Last time I was here, there was people running around in shots, splashing around in the water, which is one of the reasons it kind of put me off. All right, I've stopped actually in the middle of the water because I quite like this shot. 
with the this fallen log here leading the eye up to the pulpit up there and again that's beautifully framed by the the side of the gorge definitely could use some light here but um, I don't think we're going to get anything today another long exposure because we really don't have the light to do anything else and I'm going to try and include these rock shelves here and that water flowing its way down lovely Right, let me talk you through this shot. Just about make it out in the back of the camera there. Basically what I've done is I've got a vertical crop which is starting from this little um, eddy of water here which has just fallen over the lip of that rock. So that's my foreground and these uh, wonderful shapes in this sandstone here. And then all the way up to you've got some nice light on the side of that gorge there. Unfortunately, I'm having to work with these trees again and I'm trying to take care to exclude the sky because that's burning out and it's impossible. To, it's very dark down here in the glen, so it's impossible to include this and the sky in the same shot. And I'm not really particularly interested in the sky anyway, if the truth be told. So I've basically just set up a crop from there to pretty much there, the top of the gorge. Um, it might actually end up being a square crop, but I'm shooting it in vertical format at the moment. And I've just noticed if I come a little bit further out, the light down the gorge there is, is beautiful. So once I've taken this shot, I think I might walk over to the end of these rocks and see if I can shoot up the gorge there and uh, get some shots of that light. Yeah, the light down that gorge is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? With those reflections. My problem is this big tree is in the way and I can't see any way around that. That's a, an extremely deep pool there. So I don't really fancy my chances of getting across that. But that does look incredible. I'm wondering if there's a, sh a way down over there under the tree and along that little ridge because that is beautiful isn't it? the light down there well, what do you know? I've managed to get down I'm standing in the middle of the stream again I avoided that particularly deep hole and I managed to wade out into the middle of the stream the river and I'm shooting up here now to try and get the most of this beautiful light. I've focused on this boulder in the river, but in all honesty, the star is, is that beautiful green moss. So I've got the focus on this, but it's a vertical crop and I'm trying to include as much as possible of, of those green walls. And uh, yeah, it looks not too bad in the back of the camera. Absolutely beautiful. Another long exposure, I'm afraid, because it's very dark still. This is lovely, isn't it? We're definitely losing the light that's clouding over. Or it is indeed misty up there, it may be that. But there's nothing coming down here into the glen. And uh, the lights, it's 
quite flat to be honest. Now that is the first direct sunlight I've seen. I was going to pack up but I'm going to give it another 20 minutes now to see if that if we get any reflections down here because if we get any light at all in this general area then that is going to look lovely I think. Right, never say never, right? Uh, last time I was here, I promised myself I was never coming back. Now that I've been here and got it nice and quiet, I promised myself I'm coming back in the autumn. So, uh, what do I know? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a little thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then hit subscribe and a little bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And if you haven't subscribed to my newsletter, I'll leave a link below. Um, just sign up for that as well. It's one a month. Uh, every 28th of the month, so there'll be another one coming out very soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.